Good morning to all. Today, let's move to the exercise of chapter number 11. So you can take page number 122 in your textbook. And let's start with the first exercise. Tick the correct options. So there are five questions given with options. So I'll read out the question and you can mark the answers. So the first question. The movement of the earth that causes day and night is migration, revolution, navigation, rotation. See the second one. The earth rotates from west to east, east to west, north to south, south to north. Third one. In one day, the earth completes Three rotations, two rotations, one rotation, one revolution. The fourth one, to revolve once around the sun, the earth takes 12 months, 12 days, one month, 360 days. Fifth one, the path along which a planet moves around the sun is called an axis, an orbit, a ring, a circle. So let's see the answers. So what is the answer for the first one? The movement of the earth that causes day and night. That is called rotation. Rotation of the earth causes day and night. Second one. The earth rotates from. It rotates from west to east. The third one. In one day the earth completes. It completes one rotation. It takes 24 hours to complete one rotation. That means one day. So, in one day, the earth completes one rotation. The fourth one. To revolve once around the sun, the earth takes. It takes 12 months, which means one year. It takes one year to complete one revolution around the sun. The fifth one. The path along which a planet moves around the sun, it is called an orbit. That path is called an orbit. Moving to the next one, the second one, fill in the blanks. So let's see the first one. Dash is an outer planet. So we have four outer planets, which are they? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Then the second one, Mercury, then two blanks are given and the Earth are the inner planets. So which are the inner planets? We have Mercury, then Venus, Mars and the Earth are the inner planets. See the third one, all planets of the solar system revolve around the Sun. So planets revolve around the Sun in a definite path. So the answer is Sun. Fourth one, Dash is the closest planet to the sun. Which is the closest planet to the sun? It is Mercury. Then, fifth one, Dash is the biggest planet in the solar system. Which is the biggest planet in the solar system? It is the Jupiter. Moving to the next one. That is, match the following. So, five questions are given. You have to match them. First one, fastest revolving planet. So which is the fastest revolving planet? It is the Mercury, right? It is the Mercury. So Mercury revolves faster than any other planets. Second one, red planet. Which planet is called as red planet? It is Mars. The third one, evening star. So which planet is called as the evening star? That is the Venus. Then, fourth one, planet with thousand rings. It is called Saturn. Fifth one, bluish planet. The bluish pla planet is the Neptune. So now, moving to the fourth exercise, that is answer the following questions. So once we have discussed, you can just write it down in your notebook. See the first question. How many planets are there in the solar system? 
So how many planets are there in the solar system? We have eight planets. So there are eight planets in our solar system. The second one, what could happen if the earth stops rotating? So what happens if the earth stops rotating? Formation of night and day will be affected if the earth stops rotating. So we know that the rotation of the earth causes night and day. So if the earth stops rotating, it will affect the night and day. Moving to the third one, name the outer planets of the solar system. So which are the outer planets? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. They are the outer planets of the solar system. The fourth one, why is Mercury called an inner planet? So inner planets are closer to the sun. So the question here is, why is Mercury called as inner planet? Mercury is called an inner planet because it is closer to the sun. Because this planet is closer to the sun. Moving to the next one, answer the following questions. The first one, define rotation and revolution. So define rotation of the earth and revolution of the earth. The earth is slightly tilted on its axis. The movement of the earth about its axis is called rotation. So what is rotation of the earth? It is the movement of the earth about its axis that is called rotation of the earth. Then revolution. The movement of the earth around the sun in an orbit that is called revolution. So the movement of the earth around the sun in a definite path that is the orbit that is called revolution. The second one, why are some planets known as gas drains? Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. So these are outer planets. They are very big and are made up of gases. So these planets, these outer planets are made up of gases that do not burn. These gases do not burn. They are therefore known as gas drains. So they are therefore known as gas drains. Third one, how is a star different from a planet. A star is made up of a huge amount of gases which burn all the time producing light and heat. So a star is made up of huge amount of gas and it burns all the time producing light and heat. But what about planets? A large round object that revolves around a star in a definite path. So planets are round object which revolves around the star. So star is a sun. It revolves around the star in a definite path. That is called a planet. Planets do not produce heat or light. So planets do not produce heat or light. So that is the difference between a star and a planet. Fourth one, explain the features of any two planets. So we have how many planets in our solar system? We have eight planets. So let's explain about any two planets. Let's discuss about Mercury and Earth. So Mercury is the closest to the Sun. It revolves around the Sun faster than any other planets. So it is closer to the Sun, therefore it is very hot and revolves around the Sun very faster than that of other planets, Mercury does not have any moons. It does not have any moons. Then Earth. Earth is called the water planet because three-fourth of the Earth has water. So why Earth is called as water planet? Because three-fourth of the Earth's surface is covered with water. The remaining one-fourth has land. But what about the remaining one-fourth? It is covered with land. It is the only planet of the solar system known to have life. So it is the only planet where the life exists. 
it has one moon so earth has one moon which is revolving around it all the time so this is about the planet mercury and earth now let's move to higher order thinking skills the first one think and answer scientists believe that mars could have supported life what one feature of mars do you think may lead the scientist to believe so so we know that the planet mars have two permanent polar ice caps and the scientists believe that these poles get covered with ice during winter okay so scientists believe that mars could support life because of the presence of ice during winter that is the source of water so these poles get covered with ice during winter so they believe that it supports life second one give reasons for the following the first one the shadow of objects on the earth change their position during the day so we learnt about the shadows at different times of a day so see the answer the shadows change their position during day with reference to the change in the direction of the sun so we know that sun is changing its position and the shadow will also change in the direction of the sun the second one the earth is called the water planet we should give reason for that 3/4 of the earth is covered with water so why we say earth is called as water planet because 3 by 4 of the earth surface is covered with water the third one a star produces light and heat a star is made up of huge amount of gases which burn all the time producing light and heat so why a star produces light and heat we need to give reason because it has huge amount of gases that burn all the time producing light and heat fourth one neptune is a very cold planet we need to give reason it is a very cold planet as it is very far from the sun so neptune is very far away from the sun therefore it is the cold planet the next one value based question so there are about 7 questions given so you have to tick the practices that you follow to save your earth so we know that life exists in our earth and there are about 7 practices given and you need to tick the practices that you follow to save the resources of the earth first one i will not waste paper second one i will grow more trees so you can tick for the practices that you follow okay just think about yourself and just tick the practices that you follow to save the earth i will use water carefully fourth one i will use my bicycle to go to nearby places i will use plastic bags when i go shopping sixth one i will use my eraser only when required the seventh one i will write on only one side of my notebook the next one is the activity sun so here what you need to do is you have to locate a planet you can locate a planet in the night sky so how can you differentiate a planet and a star so planets have a steady light and they do not twinkle like stars so this is a small activity you can just locate a planet in the night sky then as a project zone so here what you need to do is you all know the solar system and you all know the planets in the solar system so there are eight planets in the solar system so based on this you can do this project you can all try doing this so it is a very interesting one so once you are done you can just submit to microsoft teams next is about scientist 
the great scientist Galileo Galilei. So have you heard about the scientist Galileo Galilei? And he is often called as the father of observational astronomy. So this person, the Galileo Galilei, is often called as the father of observational astronomy because he has made immense contribution to further our knowledge about solar system. Even this person was an Italian astronomer, a mathematician, a philosopher and a physicist. So that is about the great scientist Galileo Galilei. So we are done with the chapter, chapter number 10. So we will meet in the next class and we will start with a new chapter. Till then, thank you.